All right, now this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra running on One UI 6.1, and this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra on One UI 6.0. Now let me just go to the settings here and tap on display. Now under display, we have got navigation bar options here. Now let me tap on this. Now, as you can see, there are some changes made here on the One UI 6.1. The buttons and swipe gestures are side by side here. And we have got more options here and more options is right here in a capsule. And then we have got an option here on One UI 6.0 called gesture hint. Now this gesture hint is enabled by default on One UI 6.0, which will show this gesture hint bar right here at the bottom. Now this helps us to see where exactly you need to swipe from the bottom. It is a gesture indicator right here. Now, if you don't want this you can disable this uh, gesture hint area and you get to see more contents right here you see when I enable this uh, the gesture bar is here and it gets a little bit of background here and the contents will shrink and you don't get to see uh, extra content right here when I disable this you get to see more contents here. So that's something which is there on One UI 6.0. Now for some reason, Samsung has skipped this gesture hint option on the 6.1 on the S24 series. Now the same thing is going to happen even on the S22 series or S23 series whenever you get One UI 6.1 update. So what is the solution for this? How do we get the gesture hint on One UI 6.1? Now for that, Samsung has released a brand new update for the uh, Enemy Star module on good lock let me just open good lock here now here we have got a module called enemy star nav star for customizing the navigation buttons or navigation bar now let me tap on more and go to store now here you see we have got an all new update uh, the change lock says enable extra gesture settings menu is provided in device with simplified navigation bar after activating the above menu you can use the two added gesture options at the following path as in the previous one you buy settings display navigation bar more options swipe from bottom option in swipe gestures gesture hint option in swipe gesture so they have added both these options through the navstar module it is customized side back gesture indicator function added now here the latest version is 6 1.05.33 and the update was released a few days ago and by now most of the Galaxy S24 series running on One UI 6.1 would have got this update. Now once you get the One UI 6.0 on the predecessors you will face the same issue you will not get this gesture hint option you will have to have an AV star on your phone to enable gesture hint option there. Now let's go back to the settings. Now you see there is no gesture hint here. When I tap on more option, you just get to see block gestures with S Pen, gesture sensitivity. Now here when I tap on more option, you get to see these options here and you will get to see gesture sensitivity right here. Now let me just go back here. I'll go back here as well. Now I will go to the good lock and open NAV star. Now you see here, we have got this brand new option, enable extra gesture settings. Now this wasn't there on the NAV star module on the previous version. Let me show you that. Let's go to good lock here. Let me open Navstar module here. As you can see, this is the older version. This is the latest version. We have got transparent hint, allow back gestures in full screen. Then we have got enable gesture settings right here, which was not there here because it was not needed. By default, we had the gesture hints and few other options right there on the settings menu on One UI 6.0. Now, uh, you can see there are some changes here as well. Uh, the customized side back gesture indicator arrow can be customized right here. And you can do that on the previous version as well. But the layout has changed now. Now, let's go ahead and enable extra gesture settings. After enabling this, let's go back to the settings here. I'll go back. Now I'll tap on navigation bar. Now when I tap on more options, you see we get the menu that we get on the S22 Ultra as well. Let me go back here. Now I will just go back and show you from navigation bar. I'll tap on navigation bar. Now you see we've got the gesture hint uh, toggle here and we also got the gesture hint toggle here. Now when we disable this, uh, the gesture hint will disappear which will enable us to see more contents on the screen so this gesture hint has been disabled on one ui 6.1 and to enable or to get this feature you need to update your navstar and enable that option on navstar uh, which will add gesture hint right here now when i go back and disable this we will not get to see that option here you see under more we don't get any other options now when i enable this 
we'll get this whole bunch of options here along with the gesture hint option that is fantastic isn't it now this is how you can enable or disable gesture hint on your s24 series running on one ui 6.1 and the same thing you need to do for the predecessors when you get the one ui 6.1 and as you can see apart from the gesture hint we also get swipe from sides and bottom option and swipe from bottom option right here once you enable that on navstar module next on the change log we can also see background color is not supported when editing icons with the navigation bar buttons active a feature included in one ui basic functions please use the device's color palette function instead so now we can use the color palettes to change the colors of these navigation buttons instead of using the navstar module and then it says for galaxy fold show task stack is not supported a feature included in one ui basic functions please use the taskbar instead. If the navigation bar button is activated, the following two items are not supported when editing icon. Transparency and adaptive icon colors. Now this is something to note for the Samsung Galaxy uh, Fold users. Maybe I'll make a separate video on the changes that we have got on the Fold. Uh, for now, on the S24 series, uh, with One UI 6.1, this is the new update we have got and Samsung has brought these options back through Navstar and I'm not really sure why they have done it. These options could have been offered on the One UI 6.1 by default on the navigation bar setting. But now this is what we have got through Navstar update. So go ahead, update it. I'm sure many of you guys have been wondering whether there's an option to uh, enable or disable the gesture hint. Now this is what you need to do on One UI 6.1 to enable or disable the gesture hint and to get these options on the top that's all i want to share with you guys let me know what you think about this drop a comment and uh, while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel you will get to learn a lot about your phone on the channel so go ahead subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye